Yeah, I'm going to say something that's really important is sometimes we get wrapped up in SEO and we get wrapped up in 360 boots plus our job. Let's not forget about our family. Let's not forget, let's not forget about the people that support us, about the person who makes your lunch and irons your clothes so you could look good when you go out and go to, go to your work. That's the thing that's most important. We do all this for them. So don't be cranky and don't be a grump. Always be good to your family. That's the thing that's most important. Yo. We, <laughs> yo, what's up, Brett? What's going down? Hey, man. We need your specialties. So it's only fair that I get you on the channel so you can just kind of drop some knowledge on us and, and really I'm happy to do that. Out with the situation now and yeah. it also helped me a great deal when uh you guys evaluated and gave me some honest feedback on my website and google profile as well so thank you for that brett you're welcome my pleasure you want to introduce yourself just really quick i'll let the folks know exactly what you do your special wait you mean we're on <laughs> what's that you mean we're on <laughs> we are on <laughs> don't even worry about it <laughs> what i thought you were <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Brett Maletta from Mindsaw. And uh, I've been developing websites and doing SEO for over 25 years. My specialty, however, is the Google three pack. That's what I specialize in. The Google three pack is located right underneath the edge. So for example, if you do a search, for example, for party booths or, or, um, you know, any, any local service, that is the most clicked area in Google, at least 80% of uh, all clicks locally get clicked on Google Maps. Google Maps, okay. One thing right. that I share with uh, folks that book a one-on-one -on -one with me is, I, I just express how imperative it is to be on Google Maps, be on Google Business Profile, just because I feel that Google will do a lot of the heavy lifting for you if you set it up correctly and then add some, you know, ex some ingredients on top of that, that I want you to kind of elaborate on, Brett. One thing uh, I feel my audience has also been looking for is ways to create not only a good looking website, but an effective website that will be indexed and ranked for certain keywords. And I feel like you are the man for that. I agree. I agree. You know, I think everybody in life has something they're really good at. You know, they may not be proficient in other things. Like Mike Tyson was a great, great boxer, but he couldn't tie his shoes. Yeah. You know, like, like, you know, somebody, everybody's great at something. Everybody has a talent. Yeah. Yours obviously is communication. You're an excellent <laughs> communicator. You get, you get your words across excellent and you get people excited. Um, for me, it's ranking people in the Google three pack. So when I tell people I'm great at it, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm bragging, but that's the thing that I do. That's my specialty, right? So with that being said, 80% um, of all, 80% of all um, SEO is, is your website. So for example, if Google, Google has to know two things, what you do and where you're from. What you do and where you're from. And that needs to be repeated continuously throughout your website. Now, Google has something. If it, and uh, by the way, Dave, if you need me to, if you need me to uh, stop because uh, I'm going too fast. No, you're going at a me. great. You're going at a great speed. Okay, interrupt me. It's, I love it. Is it possible you can illustrate um, kind of uh, kind of what you're talking about and maybe share your screen to give us like a visual example of some of these topics you're hitting? So, All right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So. All right. So let's take a look at 360 photo booth rental dot net. And the link that you gave me, I went to your book online. Is that your homepage? My uh, homepage is a 360 photo booth tab on the far left. There you go. That's the one. Okay. Here we go. All right. So is, okay, so let's, let's go over a couple of things. Okay, first of all, what is the action that you're trying to get people to do right away? What is it that you want them to do? They come to your website and do what? Uh, the first page, my goal would be to captivate them enough to get them interested as far as what exactly is a 360 photo booth. And okay. 
And so the first landing page for me is more of a, here's an insight. Hopefully this educates you, uh, just showing you pictures and some words to kind of put it together along with a small video. Okay. I think that people who are looking, this is, I would call this a specialty item. Okay. And I think people who come to your website or are already looking at that because of the they've they have been to one of your events. They've, they've somehow contacted you prior or they were interested in another way. This isn't something that you just go to Google and, and kind of just stumble upon. Okay. So I think when they come here, they already know. And is it, do, do we, and that's just my opinion. Uh, okay. Do we want them to call? Do we want them to book? What is it that we want them to do? I would love them to book just right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is that is that uh, is that realistic? It could be in some time. Sometimes, like you mentioned earlier, some folks actually know what a 360 photo booth is. Uh, right. But some have no idea. So most of the time, I do give phone calls. Uh, that way, folks get their questions answered over the phone. But for me, as an owner, I would just love it if they just booked online. So when I, I wake up, I wake up to an email notification saying, "Congratulations, someone has booked." Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so if you don't mind me asking, how much is your service? Uh, the service that I'm paying for on the Wix. No, 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 no. Uh, if I were to book something, if I were to book something. Okay. So a two hour minimum rent would be six ninety nine for a two hour. Yeah. Okay. Is that something generally somebody will just uh, jump on and buy? Uh, it's, it's my first year in business. And yeah. so that's been the most popular plan. And right. I would say maybe about 50% of my clients have booked without even calling me. And oh. the other 50% have either emailed me, text messaged me, or called right. me. Uh, so it's 50-50 right. almost. Right, right. I understand. Okay. Well, the good thing that I like here is that you have, you have this let's chat and that works out for a lot of that works out for a lot of people, especially people that don't, you know, speak English that well. They could kind of use the translator, and then, you know, so if you're in a populated area where people don't necessarily speak a lot of English, that that let's chat is good. Okay, so what I would do is I would take this whole logo and everything. I would probably move it to the left, left. Right. I'd make it a little bit smaller. I would put my phone number and make it nice and big and put it on the right underneath my phone number right here underneath the phone number. I would put uh, the credit cards that you accept. Okay. Right. Underneath the logo, which is over here, I would put the areas that we serve. Uh, it says uh, San Bernardino, right? San Bernardino. Yes, right. So I would put that like right here. So this way it's above the fold, like was right away when I look at your website, I'm looking this way. So I know that you serve with my area okay. because what good is it if, uh, you know, if that person's in San Diego, for example, they're probably right. For the most part, they may not use you. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank so I, I would put, I would put that over there. All right. So now you have, so you have a lot of space here. So I would just close up some of the space. I don't think you need all the space. Now, when Google is uh, trying to rank your site in the three pack, it's looking for two things, what you do and where you're from. Got it. Right. Got so it. is, and, and I'll, because I'm from New York and now I live in Florida, is San Bernardino in, in Los Angeles, outside of Los Angeles? It's outside of Los Angeles. It, it kind of, it's a kind of its own county. And then we have Los right. Angeles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what you're doing right here is you're kind of confusing Google, because we're saying that 360 photo booth San Bernardino and also Los Angeles. Okay, do you yeah. have two locations? I do. And that and that's the reason I put both on the tag one. Yeah. Uh, just to kind of get ranking for 360 photo booth San Bernardino along with 360 photo booth Los, An uh, Los Angeles. Okay. So that is a good way. Uh, but, but I would have, I would have done it a little bit different. I would have had locations page or on your contact page. Okay. I would have had two, uh, your, your locations there. Okay. I'm writing this stuff down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So everything on your homepage has to be about two things, your location and your and what you do now you have two locations so you're throwing like a a wrench in the system most most people i'm sure only have one one location 
so what is your GMB category? You know what? I can tell you right now. Yeah, yeah. Give you accurate information here. Yeah. So here's what I would do while you're finding that information yeah. is what, what I would do is I wouldn't put on the home page, at least in text, my location. I would put it in an image underneath my logo. Right here, I would put something like five-star Google rated photo booth rental. The reason being is if you go to the Starbucks homepage, they won't list all their locations. So their main location is in Seattle. Got it, got it. Right? Uh, and Starbucks is a national brand. They're not trying to rank in the Google three pack. So their website is going to be a little bit different. It's a photo booth, uh, Brett. Photo booth. Great, great. Okay. So what we want to do is the only H H1 tag we want to put here is uh, photo booth rental, uh, 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 Google five-star rated photo booth rental. Okay. And I would take the locations out of this. I would put the locations in an image underneath your logo. This is so important because uh, what you actually type in versus an actual image is different, right? Right, right, right. Google reads uh, text different than it does images. Good point, yeah. good point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so the first thing I would do is I would change your H tags, right? Uh, okay, this is great. You're asking a question and you're answering it. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't think that, that you should have uh, uh, bold letters okay. uh, a text. I think you should take the bold out. And I think you should answer, I'm not gonna read all this, but I think that you should answer this question. So what is exactly a uh, 360 photo booth? Okay. Uh, okay, that's great right here. Uh, this link goes to a YouTube video. So this YouTube video is going to take you off. If I click this, it's going to go off your website. Yes. Yeah. You know that, you know, people have a uh, very uh, small uh, attention span. Attention span. And, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So like yeah. you bring them over to YouTube and then they, you know, then they're watching something else. I, I don't know if I would do that. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I'm I'm yeah. super, I'm always trying new things out. I was very curious, so I figured if I use a hyperlink that points to YouTube and then YouTube points back to my website, maybe yeah. I can use it as a backlink. That was my that was my idea. No, again, great idea, great yeah. idea. But I don't know if you necessarily have to put that on the homepage. Maybe you could bury that somewhere on the bottom of the about us or in a blog somewhere. Yes. Okay. Great. Right. So it'll do the same thing. And this is why oh. I, I wanted Brett on the channel because Brett is a seasoned you know, SEO expert and me, I'm like, right. he's just that curious guy that's trying to get his business off the ground and really explain like, as fast as possible. Like 98% of everybody out there, right? People are working on their business. They're watching videos on this, you know, and I think, I think one of the rabbit holes that a lot of viewers go down is having SEOs uh, like myself uh, uh, jump on a, a, a YouTube video and say, uh, this is really easy. I just figured it out. You know, I figured out SEO. It's not something that you figure out in a couple of hours. It took me 13 years to realize I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it took 13 <laughs> years for that, you know? You, do that. Yeah, you know how many rabbit holes I went down in 13 years where people were like, look, don't worry about SEO. Just fill out this form and it'll spider out to the web and the awesome power of the internet is going to harvest everything. All these words they were using. And I was like, wow, that sounds good. And I wasted five months with that. You know what I mean? And then I went on to something else. So like, you know, when you talk about it, 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 it took me a long time to learn this. So it could get very, very frustrating. So that's, I, I think that's one of my, my, my points is unfortunately, you know, I don't, I don't sugarcoat it. I just get right to the point. This is right. And this is wrong because I don't want you to be confused in your head. Well, he was kind of wishy-washy on that. You know, he was like, well, you could do that. And this looks really good. No, this is wrong. Yeah, this is wrong. I want you to know it's wrong. So you could, so you could fix it. I don't want you to waste time. Time is money. Let's let's elaborate a little bit on that. Brett, a lot of folks that are starting this photo uh, booth rental business, um, this will be their very first business they launch. Most likely they have a nine to five and they're trying to increase their monthly income by hustling and having that entrepreneur spirit going after that vision is that's to be self-employed, right? But 
Now they have, they're in a situation where they don't have enough time to do every single thing. And this is the part where I feel uh, hiring someone would do them well because not a lot of folks can sit down for three hours a day and work on their website, figuring it out for the very first time. Now, from what I remember, you we spoke about this a little bit through text message. You were mentioning right. uh, like a bundle that you were putting together. Yeah. Uh, can you elaborate on that, please? Okay. I'm going to give you two. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something you can do by yourself. Okay. If you have a website, something like this, and you make a couple of the changes that I just mentioned, right? Right. And you have $100 a month. That's all you could afford. Learn how to do Bing pay-per-click. Hmm. Learn how to do Bing pay-per-click. And you may say, Bing, who uses Bing? Okay. I'll tell you who uses this Bing. People over 40, over 50, they get a computer, they buy a computer some, somewhere, Best Buy or something. They get it all set up and Bing is their default search engine. They don't give a crap. They're just going to use it. It doesn't matter to them, Google. Google and Bing to them is the same thing and they just use it. And they're looking for photo booth rental. And if you were to do pay-per-click for photo booth rental on Google, you would pay $30 per click and I'm making that number up. And on Bing, it'll be $3 per click. You'll get less traffic, but instead of getting 100 people search for you, you'll get 10 people to search for you. But that $100 is going to go a lot further. Maybe you'll get two or three jobs. Whereas in Google, you may only get three clicks mm. if they're $30 a piece. Not the best return on the investment there. Okay. Right. So like, if you only have $100 or $200 to spend a month, because once you got your website or you did your website, you said, listen, when I first started my business, I walked door to door with a laptop that was seven inches thick. This was 1997, 1996, somewhere around there. The thing was this thick. It weighed 25 pounds. I walked up and down the avenue in, Sta in Staten Island, New York so yeah. much, and I couldn't afford a pair of, of, of shoes that I used to put a piece of cardboard between my sock and my shoe. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so because I wore out my shoes from walking the streets, but yeah. I wouldn't come home until I made a sale, $300. Wow. That's powerful, man. That's and then the next day I would do the website. So I was a correction officer. I had four, I worked four days in a row as a correction officer. And then I had two days off. My, my, my first day off, I would walk around town and I would sell. And then, and then the second day I would design. So I was making $1,200 a month because I would not come home until I sold. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I understand where your, where your people are. I'm not looking down at them because I was there, right? I was there. I was exactly there. Like I said, I had cardboard in my shoe to, to protect my sock. So yeah. I understand if that's where you're at and you only have 50 or a hundred dollars, learn how to advertise your business on Bing. You can get the most bang for the buck on Bing. Now, if you have a couple of dollars, I put together a package with David that I was working with, um, there's a fella, you don't know who he is, it's uh, Jason from uh, Power, Power Wash King. I was on his show a, uh, last week or something. Okay. Similar situation, uh, like, like you guys, and, and uh, we offered a package for, I think, $997, where I do a five-page website. You get a professional five-page website. The first page is your GMB category, which is photo booth. Your second page is your keyword page. So if you have an, uh, you know, if you have another keyword page, okay. for example, what would be a keyword page like a uh, 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 bar mitzvah photo booth, right? right? That would be a keyword, right? And then maybe gallery, contact us, and FAQs. So we put together a five-page website for nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. But it's it's one hundred percent SEO optimized. The only thing you need to do is give me uh, pictures if you have them. If not, I could use stock photography until you get some good pictures. Then we could swap it out. But for nine hundred ninety-seven dollars, now you get a website. Okay. We also do two YouTube videos. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we do two YouTube videos. So we do one YouTube video on your town. So for example, San Bernardino, and then we point that video back to your website. So that's a signal to Google that that video about San Bernardino links back to your website. 
Excellent. And then we do another video on photo booth rental. Okay. Now, naturally, if you give me pictures, the video is going to be a lot more custom to, you know, to you. If we have to use stock photography and stock video, then, you know, it's going to look a little stock, but at least you have something, right? So we also yep. do two videos. Now, another way of ranking in Google is, um, is, is through citations. Citations are, are name, address, and phone number listed on the internet. So directory websites, like we've heard, all heard of Yelp, mm -hmm. right? Um, yep. uh, uh, yellow pages on the, on the web, uh, uh, YP Yellow, Merchant Circle, Manta, uh, Angie's List, right? So depending on your industry, each industry has special citations. You need you know, hundreds of these citations. But what we do is we get you started with 10 and we index them. So we hand build them to get started, right? We do 10 citations by hand and then we index the citations. And I, uh, let me explain what index is. So when you index a citation, that shows Google that those citations are live. What happens is uh, a lot of times you buy packages of citations and Google can't find the citations. So, so they did that work, but you're not getting any credit for it because Google can't see the, 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 the uh, directories that you set up with your citations in it. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, so we index them. So being indexed means that it's being found by Google. So we do that, we do the citations, the, the video, the, the, the uh, YouTube video, and then once the site's complete and the package is delivered, what I do is I create a 10 minute video personalized for you. And I'm like, hey, Dave, okay, look, this is what you need to do to rank your website specifically for you. Here's your competition. Here's where you're listed in the Google three pack. This is what you need. And all that Brett for 9.97. Yeah, yeah. Cause I was the guy who walked around I know, I remember those days. I walked around with cardboard on my shoe. Wow. Right? And uh, most, yeah. of these, uh, most of these business owners, they have footage, they have content, they have videos. So they right. give that to you and then you'll put together two YouTube videos. And on top of that, did I hear you correctly? You said up to 10 citations? Yeah, we do 10 citations by hand. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And then we, we also do all the writing for you. Now, I want people to understand something that... I charge $2,500 a month, $2,500 to $4,500 a month for my clients, right? This is what I charge my clients. They get a bigger package, of course, like, you know, they get, you know, more keywords and stuff like that. But, but this is a good package for somebody who's just started. All these changes that I said that you would make on your website, you don't need to make because, because they're everything would be done perfect. So you're basically investing under a grand and you are getting uh, a virtual space of real estate online. And that's the world that we live in. It's all digital now. And right. that's 997. Um, and then from there, if they want any special add-ons like a Google profile maps and stuff like that, um, that's something that you can probably take on quite easily, right? Yeah, yeah. So then we have a, um, you know, for some people who are who are regularly getting some jobs, maybe you know four or five jobs a month or something like that, my my cost is seven hundred. My charge, I'm sorry, seven hundred fifty dollars a month with this package. So if you want me to do all the work, right? Okay. I provide reviews. I provide signals, like people, like you know, if you go to Google, you'll see people asking questions. You know, ask a question and answer a question. I do uh, Google um, GMB posts. Okay. So I take your pictures that you had in your party and I put them on a post. Yeah. Okay. For seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. You know, dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah. If you decide if that's what you want to do, but there's no pressure. A few months ago, you and I believe, um, what was her name? Jazz. Jazz. Yeah. Jazz, Jazzy. Uh, you guys used a really unique tool. You guys were able to put in a certain keyword and then see how I was stacking up against my competition, given my area, uh, given like a, a mileage square foot area. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Um, I am short on time, but uh, that is a tool that I think it was very powerful. And I want to know more about that tool. 
Uh, it's, you you want to know it now? I'll tell it. I'll tell you. It's called Local Falcon. Local Falcon. There you go. Yeah, Local Falcon. It's fairly inexpensive, and it gets it shows you grids as to it. So it'll take the whole San Bernardino area, mm -hmm. and it'll show you where you're ranking in the areas. Yeah, that that is something that was very impressive to me because you guys as uh, you know business owners have your information such as your website and social media but if you can see how you're stacking up against the competition for certain keywords that is great insight to have because that's going to give you the motivation to say hey i got to get more citations i got to put out more content and any more reviews more reviews so uh, i'm just speaking a little bit of what i know but you guys really want to hit up brett uh because he he's been doing this for over 15 years and so i just wanted to introduce brett to you guys just because the information he provided me with was incredible information just just because like he said once you think you have it down you don't have it down there's always something right. that you can learn so that's when you realize that that's when you realize that you, you how much more you need to learn exactly um yeah. brett before uh before we give a temporary goodbye i'm here on your page right now i'm, I'm sharing my page so everyone can see your page um and then your contact information i'm probably blocking it's so, uh, right here mine saw okay. so uh, right Guys, please go ahead and visit Mindsaw on YouTube. I'm going to put all of Brett's information in the description box below. So you guys Thank can, you. Uh, what are uh, some forms they can reach you through text? Just email. Yeah, yeah. text to email, text to email. Sure. Text What's up, easiest? Sure. So we'll yeah, do that. Just reach out to me. Yeah, I'll be happy to help you. I'm going to share this information on, on Facebook as well, Brett. We have a Facebook group of over 3,000 uh, 360 booth operators. Okay. And I think a lot of folks are starting to take their business a lot more serious because they realize like, hey, if if you can build momentum, there's definitely money in this business. So the next step is, like I said, get that piece of real estate online and get that website that's really going to help you rank and bring in more, more clients. You did the hard part already, which was making the decision to start your business. Now get the reward. Don't Amen. stop now. Amen to that. Uh, any any, la any, any uh, uh, last few words you want to share, Brett, before uh, we wrap this up, Chief? Yeah, I'm going to say something that's really important is sometimes we get wrapped up in SEO and we get wrapped up in 360 boots plus our job. Let's not forget about our family. Let's not forget, let's not forget about the people that support us, about the person who makes your lunch and irons your clothes so you could look good when you go out and go to, go to your work. That's the thing that's most important. We do all this for them. So don't be cranky and don't be a grump. Always be good to your family. That's the thing that's most important. This is when you ask someone to share some words, they just direct it towards business. And and uh, you sharing this uh, information, Brett, about hey, let's get people their flowers while they're still here alive with us. I think is a beautiful message, and I appreciate you just being a genuine man and and reminding us how important it is that when we take our mentality off of the dollar signs and we focus on people, you know. Mm. It, it, you can't lose, right? And you guys want to continue looking at this from a business point of view. Well, hey guys, don't chase the dollars, chase people because people have those dollars, right? So well yeah, said. It, it's very. Uh, it was a pleasure having you on the channel. I, I thank you. Know, finally, right? Um, yeah. Let have me on again. I, you know, if we want to, if people want to uh, 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 have me evaluate their website one day, and you want to have me next month or next year or something like that. I'm, Shoot me a text. I'm, I'm, I'm always available for you. I'd love to help. I love helping. I love helping brand new business owners because I never forgot the day that I had to put those that cardboard underneath my sneak on the underneath my shoes and yeah. walk the avenue. You know, and I, I know what you what, what, what new business owners go through. And if I could help them either through advice or through working with them, it's my pleasure. Yeah, guys. And just a quick reminder, you don't lose anything when you reach out and just get some information that way you guys know exactly, hey, this is my budget, what can I get? But the most right. important thing, guys, is that you remain resourceful and you become curious enough to you know, come up and actually ask the question, send that email. That's how we met, right? That's exactly. how, we, that's how I, we met. I sent Brett, uh, uh, I commented on one of his videos saying, hey, and I, maybe I commented twice, but I said, hey, I have a website. And guys, I did it all on my own, but I really wanted someone with experience to really look at it and tell me, yeah. hey, what areas need improvement and even today to this day he just took a quick look at it brett took a look at it and there's still some areas that i can you know revise yeah, well, you, can, yeah you can improve my website oh things can always be improved always be improved 
Well, Brett, I'm going to, I'm going to let you go for now, sir. And thank you so much for just coming out and making time to meet with me here virtually today. I am very humbled and I um, thank you so much for all the information, ladies and gentlemen, Brett from Mindsaw, excellent SEO. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Thanks a lot.